everyone, it's your girl Seaman M. You've seen what a standard crew cabin looks like and now it's time to take you around the ship so you can see what the crew areas look like. In some cases, crew areas are a lot like guest areas because some crew have guest privileges. So we can go to the guest gym, we can eat in the buffets, things like that. But in some other positions, this isn't necessarily possible, so the crew areas are for the crew alone. So while some crew can visit guest areas and use the guest facilities, it's not possible in the reverse. Guests cannot visit the crew areas and use the crew facilities. Slight disclaimer here, the ship that I'm currently on is 14 years old. That being said, some of the newer ships have upgraded facilities and newer things for us to use. So keep that in mind while you're looking at some of these things that might be a little bit archaic. The newer the ship, essentially the better the stuff. So let's take a look around. I'm going to show you the crew library, crew gym, crew games room, where the crew eat, where the crew party, just generally where we do everything. Let's go. Welcome to the crew corridor. In a former video of mine, you got to see the inside of our rooms and now you're seeing the outside. This is our hallway. It's obviously not as fabulous as it is where the guests live, but it does its job. This gives you a sense of how close together the rooms actually are. And yes, we clearly live on board. That's actually been asked before. Welcome to the I-95. This is the main artery of the ship and how we get to and from our people movers, so to speak. This is where our mess halls are, our bars, and it's also where we put everything. So it's kind of like Disneyland in a sense that, you know, people are always saying they have garbage and garbage bags, but I never see them moving it. Well, this is where our garbage goes, our food goes, the luggage goes, just about everything goes down here. Oh, there goes the luggage cart right now taking things off the ship as it is disembarkation embarkation day exciting oh garbage i'm going to show you the incinerator room right now this is where the guest garbage goes the crew garbage goes the only difference being that the crew have to come and separate their garbage themselves yum and I've already talked to you about what the food is like in the crew messes, but welcome to one of the messes. As I told you before, there is places to warm up your food, heat your food, and those are the toasters there. Oh look, we got new chairs. Fabulous. This is the line. This is where we grab our food from. Everybody lines up, goes through it, gets what they want. And then this is our beverage station. So you can come and get your juice, your water. There's cups there. There's also some cereal if you get a little snacky throughout the day. And then if you round the corner, there's some tea, coffee, milk, everything that you could probably need on that side. And that stays out for us all day and night. All right, so this is the crew weights room, and it's exactly that, a weights room. You're not going to find any treadmills or stair climbers or anything like that in here. This is simply just weights. I guess they're assuming that we can go outside and walk in the ports, or there are some bicycles on board if you want to rent one of those and take it out if it hasn't already been rented. As I said before, a lot of the guest facing crew can use the guest gym and they do. Now we start the party. Welcome to the staff bar. This is the non-smoking bar on the ship. As you can see, we have the foosball table, we have the TV. This is the bar area, usually stocked with a whole bunch of liquors and beers at nighttime. There's an espresso machine there. And then those are the machines that we can load up our A passes with, our A pass being our source of credit or debit whatever you want to call it while we're on board it's our money source so we can go in load our card and get a couple drinks and hang out with each other and here is our smoking bar or crew bar this is located in the depths of the ship and it's kind of like our club usually these shelves here are lined also with tons of liquor there's a lovely bartender there and we have nights like latin night caribbean night mediterranean night international night and then different groups around the ship, like the spa people or the youth people, they'll take over and they'll do their own little theme party and name it as such. This is our current games room. It's really just a pool table and a bunch of mattresses that are being replaced right now. We do have days though where they'll set up like the ping pong table in the middle of the I-95 and do some ping pong tournaments. And we do have different activities around the ship, like in the staff bar that I showed you, we'll have like karaoke nights and things like that. And last up, we have our internet cafe. This is where people can come if they don't necessarily have a laptop and just want to you know, talk to their family, send a quick email, get on Facebook, that sort of thing. 
It does cost us money. Don't kid yourself. And then there's also some books there if you like reading and want to educate your mind. Again, thank you so much for coming along on this journey with me. I know a few of you have actually asked to see these areas because some of you are actually coming aboard to work. Congratulations. If there's anything else that you would like to see, any questions, comments, feedback, as always, feel free to contact me. Bye for now.